prime trinomials or polynomials, factoring trinomials with common factors, and factoring trinomials with two variables. Rules Identify trinomials special case. Follow the steps to solve the trinomials. For example, x squared plus 4x plus 8. When all the trinomial signs are positive, we use positive signs inside the parentheses. To find the first term in our answer, we look at the first term in our trinomial. x squared is the first term in our trinomial. x squared factors are x times x, so we write this as part of our answer. We need to find two integers whose product is 8 and their sum is 4. Let's factor out 8. 8 equals 2 times 4 or 1 times 8. 2 times 4 equals 8, but 2 plus 4 is not equal to 4. 1 times 8 equals 8, but 1 plus 8 is not equal to 4. There is no integers whose product is 8 and their sum is 4. This means that this trinomial or this polynomial is prime. Let's try an example for factoring trinomials. 2x cubed plus 18x squared plus 36x. As we can see, we can pull out the greatest common factor from this trinomial. The greatest common factor is 2x. After factoring out the greatest common factor, we end up with 2x times x squared plus 9x plus 18. Now we factor x squared plus 9x plus 18. The two integers whose products is 18 and their sum is 9 are 6 and 3. We write the answer as follow. 2x times x plus 6 times x plus 3. Let's try factoring trinomials with two variables. x squared minus 7xy plus 10y squared. To find the first term in our answer, we look at the first term in our trinomial. x squared is the first term in our trinomial. x squared factors are x times x, so we write this as part of our answer. Now, we need to find two expressions whose product is 10 and their sum is negative 7. Let's factor out 10. 10 equals negative 1 times negative 10 or negative 2 times negative 5. Negative 1 times negative 10 equals 10, but negative 1 plus negative 10 is not equal to negative 7. Negative 2 times negative 5 equals 10, and negative 2 plus negative 5 equals negative 7. Notice how we write the answer when we are factoring with two variables. x minus 2y times x minus 5y. Let's practice. Take your time and try the following exercises. When you finish, check your answers with mine. Practice solution. x squared minus 8x plus 48. In this trinomial, this sign is negative and this sign is positive. In this case, the sign inside the two parentheses will be negative. To find the first term in our answer, we look at the first term in our trinomial. x squared is the first term in our trinomial x squared factors are x times x, so we write this as part of our answer. We need to find two integers whose product is 48 and their sum is negative 8. Let's factor out 48. 48 equals negative 2 times negative 24, or negative 4 times negative 12, or negative 6 times negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 24 equals 48, 
But negative 2 plus negative 24 is not equal to negative 8. Negative 4 times negative 12 equals 48. But negative 4 plus negative 12 is not equal to negative 8. Negative 6 times negative 8 equals 48. But negative 6 plus negative 8 is not equal to negative 8. There are not integers whose product is 8 and their sum is 4. This means that this trinomial or this polynomial is prime. Let's try another example. 4x cubed minus 8x squared minus 12x. As we can see, we can pull out the greatest common factor from this trinomial. The greatest common factor is 4x. After factoring the greatest common factor, we end up with 4x times x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now we factor x squared minus 2x minus 3. The two integers whose products is negative 3 and their sum is negative 2 are negative 3 and 1. We write the answer as follow. 4x times x minus 3 times x plus 1. Let's try another example. r squared minus 11r t plus 28t squared. To find the first term in our answer, we look at the first term in our trinomial. r squared is the first term in our trinomial. R square factors are R times R, so we write this as part of our answer. Now, we need to find two expressions whose product is 28 and their sum is negative 11. Let's factor out 28. 28 equals negative 2 times negative 14, or negative 4 times negative 7. Negative 2 times negative 14 equals 28. But negative 2 plus negative 14 is not equal to negative 11. Negative 4 times negative 7 equals 28. And negative 4 plus negative 7 equals negative 11. So yes, we find the correct integers. Notice how we write the answer when we are factoring with two variables r minus 4t times r minus 7t.